Hello, welcome to Phillips Mushroom Farms. I'm Jim Angelucci, General Manager. Today I'm going to take you on a brief tour to show you how we grow our quality mushrooms. Growing of all farm-raised mushrooms begins with the preparation of the substrate. Here at Phillips we grow seven different varieties. Some use the same growing media, others require a different mixture. The most common mushrooms are the white button mushroom and its close cousin, the cremini and portobello. Growing media for these is a nutrient-rich composted material using agricultural waste products. Mulch hay, wheat straw, stable bedding, poultry litter, and corn cobs are mixed together, watered, and put through a large machine to ensure proper mixing. As the material starts to decompose, the temperature in the pile rises to 185 degrees Fahrenheit because the aerobic microorganisms create heat as they convert the carbohydrates, carbon and nitrogen into what will eventually become the food source for mushrooms. This temperature has been shown to kill any human pathogens that may be in the mixture. After the initial stage of mixing, the material is moved into large cement bunkers where air is forced up through the mass by tiny holes in the floor. The compost is moved every two days and mixed to assure proper aeration and water content. After seven days, it moves to the state-of-the-art phase two tunnels where the final process of the conversion takes place. The material is placed onto long mesh nets and pulled into the tunnel. Again, filtered air is forced through the mass to ensure that there is enough oxygen to finish the process. After five days, the temperature of the mixture is lowered to 75 degrees and the finished substrate is removed from the tunnel by the means of a winch. As it is being loaded into trucks for delivery, it's mixed with mushroom culture called spawn and a growth enhancer, a corn or soybean based supplement. When it arrives at the farm, specialized equipment is used to convey the substrate onto the growing beds. The mixture is placed on mesh nets and pulled along growing beds forming a compost cake. After the room is filled, the ventilation system is turned on to recycle the air in the room. It takes a high carbon dioxide level to get the mushroom fungus, the white thread light network, to grow in a vegetative state so that it could colonize the food source and extract the nutrients. We achieve this by simply shutting off the outside air from the growing room and allowing it to recirculate, heating or cooling as necessary. Carbon dioxide is controlled by the amount of fresh air introduced into the room through the ventilation system. Covering the surface of the bed with plastic helps keep the carbon dioxide level high and helps retain moisture. Approximately 18 days after filling, the compost is completely colonized with the mushroom fungus or mycelium. At this point, a peat moss mixture is applied to the surface to provide a water reservoir for the mushrooms. The CO2 level in the room again is allowed to raise and after about 8 days, the mycelium has completely grown into the peat moss. Now it's time to help the fungus become mushrooms or the fruiting body of the fungus. Three things are done to help the mushroom spawn form mushrooms. The temperature in the room is lowered, the carbon dioxide level is also lowered, and water is added to the peat moss. Fifteen days after the environment is changed, mushrooms magically appear. This particular variety grows in flushes or breaks. The first flush is the largest size, best quality, and largest quantity because all of the nutrients are available to support the growth. These mushrooms will be harvested every day for five to seven days. A mushroom doubles in size in 24 hours. There is a low period of about the same duration where water is added to the peat moss for the second flush. The second flush will be harvested for about five to seven days and the process repeated for the third flush. At the end of the crop, steam is introduced into the growing room until the bed temperature reaches 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature is held for 24 hours to ensure that any contaminants that may have gotten into the room are killed. The room is cooled down. All of the substrate is removed from the room using a winch to pull the nets to the end of the bed. The typical crop cycle for white and brown mushrooms is 8 to 10 weeks from filling of the room until the next fill. Here at Phillips, we use two different substrates for our exotic varieties. The growing media for oyster mushrooms starts with a blend of cottonseed hulls or pellets, wheat straw, and millet. On a typical afternoon, the blend is loaded into converted cement mixtures where water is added. The mixture is sealed, steam is forced into the vessel to achieve low temperature sterilization of the substrate. Once the vessel reaches the desired temperature, it's maintained for a period of time to ensure proper sterilization, and then cooled down by a series of cold water pipes along the outside of the mixer. The next morning, the substrate flows out of the mixer, 
Oyster spawn and supplement are added using screw conveyors and the mixture is dumped into pre-scored plastic bags. After filling, the bags are moved to a pinning room where they will sit in the temperature controlled environment for about 14 days or until small mushroom pins begin to form. After the bags are pinned, they are moved to production rooms where the first flush will be harvested about a week after being moved. The second flush will be picked 15 days after the first flush and the same time for the third flush. Like all substrate here at Phillips, oyster media is recycled into a potting soil blend. Shiitake, pom pom, and royal trumpet are all grown on the same sawdust based substrate. Only the mushroom strain changes. It starts with red oak sawdust to which wheat bran and millet grain are added. The mixture is loaded into converted cement mixers to ensure proper mixing of the ingredients. The next morning, the material flows into the bagging room that's as clean as a hospital operating room. Shiitake mushroom spawn is added to the media as it flows through a series of screw conveyors and then placed in filtered plastic medical device bags, sealed, coated, and placed in crates on pallets to be moved to the climate controlled spawn growing rooms. 21 days after the bags are filled, the plastic is removed and the environment in the room is changed to brown the log and initiate fruiting. Since the log does not have sponge-like peat moss layer to release moisture, the logs have to be hydrated by submerging them underwater for a period of time. Ten days after the shiitake log is hydrated, the first flush will start to be harvested. Mushrooms will be picked for four to five days, then the log is moved again to rehydrate for the second flush. Fifteen days later, the second flush will be harvested, and the process is repeated for the third flush. When harvesting is finished, the logs are recycled along with all the other spent material. While all the sawdust-based mushrooms use the same substrate, the production time is different. Maitake, or Hen of the Woods, has a 30-day spawn run. The top is then removed, and 35 days later, the mushroom is harvested. Each log produces one or two mushroom clusters, and then it's recycled. King Oyster, or Royal Trumpet, has a 20-day spawn run. The top of the bag is removed, and the mushrooms will start to be harvested 10 to 12 days later. Harvesting lasts about five days, and then the log is recycled. Pom pom, or sometimes called lion's mane or monkey's head, is the fastest growing variety. About 20 days after the bag is filled, small holes are punched into the bag using a wooden dowel. About 15 days later, mushrooms will be mature enough to harvest. Each log will produce five to eight mushrooms, and then the log is recycled. All of the mushrooms grown here at Phillips are sent to our packing room for packing and distribution. To help preserve quality when the mushrooms arrive, they are placed in vacuum cooling chambers that bring the internal temperature down to 34 degrees. Once cooled, they are placed in 34 degree coolers until they are needed on the packing lines. Most of the mushrooms packed at Phillips are shipped within three days of harvesting in refrigerated trucks. I hope you found the video interesting, showing how we produce our top quality mushrooms for your use every day. Thank you for visiting Phillips Mushroom Farms and the Woodlands at Phillips.